how's our map look? Oh, okay. We did a loop de loop. <laughs> so there's. Ooh. Hello. Take that. Ooh. Landris. That shouldn't be surprising. Where does this go, though? Oh, there's a methal statue. Is it in here by any chance? Hey! Codex unlocked old elven writing? Excuse me? This elven writing found in the Arbor Wilds is so old as to be incomprehensible. Why couldn't you just... That's weird to have a codex on. Is that all that this does? Okay, according to the wiki, that's all that we needed. That's all that that does. Let's figure out how to get out of here. Does this go anywhere? I mean, under. That's about it. Okay. Alright, I may jump ahead when I figure out where we're supposed to be. Okay, can we go up this way. Okay, and this is where we were. We took a few different pathways. So I can keep exploring this way. Obviously there's the water goes that way and we could keep following it. But this looks like it's going somewhere different. More hearts. Here's one of those elves that look weird with the armor that I'm stepping on. And now he's gone. Or she. Could have been she. That's our bird mist. Or whatever it is. There's another elf. The elves are fighting us. Look, how we doing? Okay, we are exploring. That's how we're doing. Good hunting, Inquisitor. Oh. We are keeping them at bay. Follow the river to the temple. Well, I know Liliana's here somewhere. Oh, there she is. That's her. It's it's very easy to miss Liliana if you stay on the main path. a chest. Ooh. I mean, that looked really nice. What's back here? Anything? Yeah. Probably just getting myself lost. Okay, yeah. There's nothing up there. More red Templars, what the heck. We just cleared you guys. And elves. Ow. Good. Yes, I realized we were just in here. Up. I'm 
make sure I look behind it. Arbor. Blessing. That's what's called. Arbor Blessing. There's another one. to do whatever they're doing. Alright, and we are back at the river now. Need some help. How do we look here? All right, so I actually do want to head back up because we skipped it, and I want I want the experience and the loot. Yeah, so it looks like yeah, some of these um, red templars are regenerating, so I could go back that way where the red is, but we should really press forward. Not leaving you here. Ooh. Helen, go take a nap. I've, I've been told that you need it. <laughs> go, go take a nap. There's more statues. Oh, and the other ones. I love these. These are really cool. Ooh, loot. Uh, fabric, but that's cool. I'll take it. Let's check this map real quick. Yeah, I think that's this is the only kind of extra area you can get. There. That must be the Temple of Methal. You can't be see ready. anything. Corypheus will be there. I hear fighting ahead. No oh, shit. <laughs> Where haven't we heard fighting? Huge Mythal statue right there to the left. More Mythal statues. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrow. Well of Sorrows. Interesting. Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Do you? Well, we can all go home now, right? Oh, so they just crossed the bridge? Oh, 
Um. It cannot be. Across the bridge now. Oh goodness. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. Hold on. Corypheus mentioned a will of sorrows. I thought he was here for an alluvian. I am uncertain of what he referred to. So you can ask this question, which makes <clears throat> makes no sense if you're an elf. You were guessing. Corypheus might not be after this alluvian. It might not even be here. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. Then Corypheus can't really die. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. Tis strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. Fair enough. Yes? Um, what we were just discussing. Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. And that'll help. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Let's see what else we have. Where are we? Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. <laughs> I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. Okay, so she has more. Let's continue. As you wish. She's talking about customs in the vestibule which are up here actually so we should move forward more mythal statues which are these it appears the temple's magics are still strong ancient elven i can't make out much Atishol via Abalasan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven. Shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. Hmm. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. So, following their path, as she says. Go 
around here and light up all the squares without touching more than one twice. Well done. Let us see what awaits. Yes? More questions. You've seen the elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. I don't think that's Two, the case. These are elves descended from the ancients, having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. It would be unheard of. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? And she wouldn't ask this, but it's here. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. Oh, that's painful. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge? And yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. In what way? There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other, paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. You have something to add? If you know more about this, Solas, speak. The oldest accounts say Mathal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. <laughs> and again, she would know this. What do you mean exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinta. Who can say? Let's continue. As you wish. So, um, as I said before, there's a lot of remnants in here of when this was supposed to be human only. Which is why she's going to ask questions about stuff she should know about. Anyway, we got a codex. Once again, Genitivi is completely at odds with reality. Ancient elven temples were no simple shrines. Extensive digging shows that buildings radiated out of the main edifice, much like a city wrapped around a palace. Indeed, these temple complexities must have been cities once, with a veritable army of functionaries running them. Each cult had different rituals, abulations, and prayers to their chosen patron that ran all hours of the day. The time and effort devoted to them must have been staggering. Perhaps it's best we've lost knowledge of these pagan rites. The deities that the old elves worshipped, if they existed at all, were clearly demons masquerading as higher powers. One shudders to think of what went on before their thrones. An essay by Atronus of Antiva, scholar and naturalist to the Antivan royal court. Brings some of Genetivi's reports into question, which is interesting. statues I see the Red Templars have already encountered the temple's guardians yep they hurt themselves for years to get stronger but they still die so easily perhaps we shall fare better <laughs> it's great Morgan thanks 
The Temple of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. Before the Imperium destroyed it. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment, after they proved their worth. Silence has reigned here for time beyond memory. Blessing. The Dalish use Harelin to mean traitor to one's kin, but the word does not appear in any elven text before the Tower's Age. The ancient root word is related to Harlelin, or opposition, and Halathin, or noble struggle. The Dalish call Fenharel a god of deception, but I posit a far more accurate translation would be god of rebellion. What he rebelled against is a story lost to time. In Dalish legends, Fenharel seals away the other deities out of love of trickery. If we understood more ancient elven, we might find earlier versions of the Dreadwolf story give him a more nuanced motivation beyond spite. From a treaty on the pagan and heretical customs of the elven by Senelin Tavernier of the University of Orlais, commissioned by Empress Selene. Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. My clan set statues of the Dread Wolf outside our camp. They're meant to frighten harmful spirits. Perhaps. I thought the ancient elves above quaint superstitions. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise do not mistake one for the other. Pray tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. <laughs> we can send for historians once peace is brought to this forest. The inhabitants of this temple may not appreciate guests. That's true. I probably shouldn't have chosen that option. <laughs> what? Okay. I thought there was a person standing there for a minute. It freaked me out. Let's head on in. Uh, Pegasus? Or now that had um that had antlers. Oh. What do you just blow a hole in? The floor. Hold them off! We might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. People are dying outside while we stand here. If we use the tunnel, more of our soldiers can flee. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. <sighs> Jeez. You're very eager to reach our destination. Are we not all eager to stop Corypheus from achieving his mad plan? It sounds like what you want is that well. 
Anand doesn't trust her. There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You don't know anything about it. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it. Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. Of course you did. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. <laughs> the term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake. Yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. And you didn't say this earlier because... Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Okay. So we get to make a choice. We either get to go down or that way. Before we do that, I believe there's stuff around here to investigate. Falandine. The people swore their lives to Falandine, who mastered the dark that lies, whose shadows hunger whose faithful sing, whose wings of death surround him thick as night. Let the veneer, master scryer, be our guide through shapeless worlds and airless skies. Song of Fallon Dean found in the Temple of Mathal. Who is this meant to be? Fallon Dean, overseer of funerals and guide to the elven dead. I have heard the Dalish invoke him on their deathbed or before quests from which they expect no return. My clan's hunters asked for his blessing when we fought bandits. Our keeper taught them the prayers. I do not believe they sing songs about Falun Din's vanity. Mm-hmm. Do you know any legends? It is said Falun Din's appetite for adulation was so great, he began wars to amass more worshippers. The blood of those who wouldn't bow low filled lakes as wide as oceans. Mithal rallied the gods once the shadow of Falandin's hunger stretched across her own people. It was almost too late. Falandin only surrendered when his brethren bloodied him in his own temple. I've never heard that. My clan never told a story like that about Falandin. The further the Dalish spread, the further their stories branch and grow. Never mistake them for arbiters of true elven culture. Solace. <laughs> There was nothing in that walkway. Okay. There was something back here to find. Um, yes, okay. Before we. Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? No, not Think doing carefully. That. There is no return once we leap after the Templars. And roll. 
One day, Andrul grew tired of hunting mortal men and beasts. She began stalking the forgotten ones, wicked things that thrive in the abyss. Yet even a god should not linger there, and each time she entered the void, Andrul suffered longer and longer periods of madness after returning. Andrul put on armor made of the void and all forgot her true face. She made weapons of darkness and plague ate at her lands. She howled things meant to be forgotten, and the other gods became fearful and Drool would hunt them in turn. So Mithal spread rumors of a monstrous creature and took the form of a great serpent waiting for Andrul at the base of a mountain. When Andrul came, Mithal sprang on the hunter. They fought for three days and nights, and Drool slashing deep gouges in the serpent's hide. But Mithal's magic sapped Andrul's strength and stole her knowledge of how to find the void. After this, the great hunter could never make her way back to the abyss and peace. What's this? I believe we are in the presence of the elven goddess Ondrul, Lady of the Hunt. Or a goddess of sacrifice, according to some. Truly? I wonder if that is why Ondrul's patron animal is the hare. It is said the Dalish invoke her before a chase, especially if they happen to be stalking humans. My clan avoided human settlements, never mind raiding them. A sound tactic, if one has room to maneuver out of harm's way. Other Dalish clans do not keep so scrupulously hidden. Okay, so it looks like we have various directions to go. We were down here originally, I think. Yeah. And then came up for the cutscene, and there was loot missing. Which is why I stepped down here. Okay. Yep. Let's go do some of these rituals. <laughs> 